Well, with me now, Mick and Anne Pugh. Mick, a very special day here for you to be back in at Plough Lane. I can't tell you how happy I am since uh, the old Plough Lane was closed and uh, we fought very, very hard to get this stadium together. And I'm really seriously proud of everybody who's worked so hard to get it going. And it's lovely to bring my wife Anne here to show her around. And how does it feel to be into Plough Lane now? Oh, really good. It's, it just seems like so long um, since the last time I came here for a match. And just to watch it all develop and people saying, no, you won't do it. And yes, we did do it. It's been great. And uh, it was really quite emotional coming in today, hoping it wasn't going to tip down with rain as we walked uh, as we walked along. But it's great to be back and just really nice. And it's very impressive, really impressive. So it's good. Good. Hi, I'm Tom Goulder. Uh, I'm here, Plough Lane. I can't believe it. It's absolutely amazing to be here. Uh, I came here actually to help out do some volunteering when it was frozen over in the pitches and I got a glimpse of what it would be like. But now with fans, incredible. Absolutely buzzing to be here. And so I just can't wait for the game to happen and just to see everyone and to be here with everyone. Obviously, it's not the, the real event until everyone's here, but you know, just to get a glimpse, incredible. So happy to be here. I'm Dean, Akatintin. And it just feels amazing to be here. It might be raining, but in my heart, the skies are yellow and blue. Just to see fans back in here, enjoying what we've worked hard for for 19 years, is just an emotional. And I can't wait for this place to be absolutely rammed next season, cheering the Dons on to victory. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm with my daughter Rebecca, and this is incredibly exciting for us. It's our first trip to Plough Lane since it's reopened, and we're just really looking forward to a game of football. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and it's really exciting to be back at Plough Lane and to see the boys back out there again. What does it mean after all these years, you know, to, to be just around the corner from the old stadium? It's great. I was uh, I moved to Wimbledon in 1998, and so I haven't really seen them at the old stadium. So this is a brand new experience for me, but I'm really looking forward to it. On the back, you've heard the stories, have you? Yeah, yeah, because he watched them win at the, uh, the FA Cup. Alice, how does it feel to be back into Plough Lane now? Wonderful, wonderful. It's been 30 years since I've stepped into Plough Lane. And I can't believe that I've lived to see it. My wish was I'd come back to Plough Lane and my wish has been granted. And this is Sid, my husband, who I married 65 years ago and became a Wimbledon supporter. Oh, and she's been with me ever since, for my things. <laughs> oh, we last a bit longer, I think. We make old yeah, buttons. Yeah. But this is a lovely ground. Oh, it's Absolutely wonderful. fantastic. Well, I was worried because I thought at King's Meadow we were such a bonded crowd and I thought we were going to lose something. But now I've seen them, I think we'll all be just, just the same, all one big family. I think the, uh, the staff, Joe Palmer and Man, they are absolutely fantastic. fantastic. I think they've done a wonderful job. Yeah. yeah. Not forgetting Eric, but no. it's it's been, hasn't it? It's been a journey. I can't believe it was 65 years ago that I stepped into Power Lane. Hi, uh, Matt Rickard, a fan since 1982, 83. So to be back here is just. It's dreams come true, it's amazing. It's made better by the fact that my son, who is 18, just 18, obviously never got to go to Plough Lane, but, well, any words? Yeah, no, it's just, it's, I mean, I was never at the original Plough Lane, but I mean, it's, it's just incredible to finally be back here after all this time, like, just look around, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, so obviously I remember the old Plough Lane really well. We've had um, some amazing occasions there, but it was ramshackle, it was, uh, it was run down. Whereas now we've got this incredible space, which is so enclosed, really. So the atmosphere, I think, is just going to be through the roof. Um, I just cannot wait to actually be at a proper match. 
But anyway, for me, it's like you get to a point in your life where you just kind of want, you know, you get married, you have kids, and then you you come back to your football ground so much longer after all this time. It sounds a bit sentimental, but amazing. Uh, four of us came here today um, as a group. We've been watching AFC for forever. I'm a long-lasting woman supporter and delighted to be back at Plough Lane. It's really surreal. Um, fantastic pitch. Looks like an amazing place. Excited to see see the football here for real when it comes next season. But today's a momentous day for all AFC Wimbledon supporters. Fantastic occasion and just great to be here. I'm Neil. This is my daughter Kirsty. I've been coming to Wimbledon since 1987 as a teenager and to see this now is just amazing. The journey we've had sort of from those days coming back to Berlin just means so much. You know, to be able to bring my daughter now to come along and be a fan as well, it's just fantastic. It's a brilliant feeling. Kirsty, what does it mean to you? I think it's really cool that my dad was here when he was young and now I can and be here as a kid so I can be here to support my team. How important was it for you to get your girl supporting your local team? Oh, absolutely important. I mean, you know, there's so much pressure for kids to support a team that's in the Premier League, that their fans support. But from when she was a little kid, she had a Wimbledon kit. And, you know, I've been bringing her to game at the old ground since she was a baby. So I think it was inevitable, really. It was written in the stars. Hello, I'm David Lloyd and this is my son, Nico. It's just unbelievable to be back here. Um, it's been talked about for so many years and so on, but to be actually be here in the flesh, so to speak, is, uh, is unbelievable, actually. Yeah, I'm really experienced. We've clearly obviously worked hard for it and uh, now we're finally here. And yeah, it's a testament to the fans, everyone at the club who worked so hard to get here. So it's, yeah, the greatest story in football and I'd say sport. So yeah, it's amazing to be here. David, can you believe this at Anzen after all these years? Not at all. I think uh, I feel I should have my best suit on and a my best suit on and a tie because this is so magnificent. But uh, I'm sure we'll get used to it. But it's superb, it really is. Hi, uh, my name's Tom Emmanuel. This is my son Joseph. Here for the Test match. Um, can't really believe it. I was here for the Palace game in '91 as an 11-year-old boy and now I'm back with my nine-year-old son. We've been away for a generation and um, it just means the world. I, hard to believe we're here, um, but we're going to enjoy it. How excited are you? I can't really believe it because even though this is still is my second stadium, even though I'm still a nine-year-old boy, I'm still like tearing up just to go to the stadium and it's just unbelievable.